Legion, Season 1, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 8, another episode I love. Spoilers for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. Yeah, the show is TVMA, and this video will also be rated TVMA. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we... Last episode ended with us seeing that Clark had indeed survived and was now very badly burnt. And now we flash back and see him wake up earlier and we get the detail that he, Clark is gay, married, and they've adopted a black child together. They're honestly sweet together considering that both of them apparently work for this, you know, evil military outfit. And but but yeah, you know, why why not? Why not? You know, it's like I would have a problem with it if it was like, oh, you know, because he's gay that means he's more likely to be evil. But it I didn't really get the sense from the other villain characters that they were like supposed to be evil on account of some minority identity you know the eye where we find out is apparently motivated by basic you know basically toxic masculinity so it's not like yeah moving on and we get the class you know mirror you know <laughs> I'm gonna show this the people of Gotham. Now, yeah, and and you know they recommend desk duty, and he's like, as long as you can give me one that I can fold up and take into the field, because that's where I'm going, baby. And let's see, yeah, I like you know, and and yeah, we we catch up to the to the very end, and it's like you know, oh, you can you know show the rest of them. No, and he just lifts his hand and and he makes a tree of, of soldiers, which I quite appreciate. I like that he's still, like, god-tier, incredibly powerful. But without Lenny's influence, he's not melting people into, you know, and, yeah, cutting people in, in half with, with walls and, and, you know, the, the ground and such. He's, he just, yeah, he sticks them together. You know, they're harmless. At this point, they can't hurt any of them. But they're not dead. They're not brutalized. <laughs> you know, like, there's actually, you know, at first they sound like, ah, oh, ah, oh, you know, terrified. And then after a while, they just sound, sound, sound like kind of annoyed. Like, really, again? I just washed this shirt. Now it has a stain on. This is so annoying. You know, just, I really appreciate that. Because, like, yeah, you know, after a while, they kind of, you know, at first, they're like, oh no, this is this is the guy who melts people. I, you know, I've seen footage. But after a while, this is like, he's, he's really going to leave us hanging? Like, literally? Oh no. <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, you know, Clark, it, it, you know, realizes, shit. <laughs> and... I quite appreciate that, you know, after everything, David still says, no, don't shoot, you know, Clark. And, yeah, he points out, you know, if if you have schizophrenia, but you feel confident that you don't, you know, the, the yeah, the problem there. And I really appreciate, like, again, you know, he's... <sighs> There's, there's basis for him, like, David choosing good. You know, some people have treated him very well in his life. There's other, other people who have treated him very poorly. But he's realized, you know, we don't get anywhere by, you know, this cycle of abuse. And, let's see. Yes, and, and... <laughs> I quite appreciate Carrie with a K. I'm not sure anybody actually told her. Please never stop walking menacingly around Clark. 
I feel like they probably just said like we should probably somebody should probably be in the room with him and she was like me 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 and and they were like okay just just don't hurt him we're trying to get answers out of him you know and she decided oh I'm gonna like just walk around and around I don't know how she keeps from being dizzy but yeah you know she likes being intimidating that's that's her thing and let's see <laughs> and and then carry with a C honestly if I ever d develop problems with my immense mutant ability that's that's psychic in some way I really hope it's Carrie with a C louder milk who who has to try to try to help out because it's just he's he's a delight you know he's got this thing like obviously they they there needs to be a thing to like keep track you know he's he's already he said in, you know the episode right before this one this thing is very you know we don't know how well this is gonna work we gotta be really you know keep it keep it steady and we gotta you know so so yeah he's gotta check for it I don't know if that thing needed to like be this bright green neon light and and at, at one point it looked like okay you just you just screwing with David at this point he's like you know shining it directly into his eyes but he does he does then look at the at the scanner thing but it you know the the yeah the other end of the device but just like yeah and yeah Lenny's voice in Sid's head very ominous and yeah um carry with a k does not want carry with a c to get that close to to clark you know so you know put put it on the table in the cup and you know i i'm guessing either Maybe it's that the you know because the the carry louder the carries louder milk are connected it would be like carry with a K was touching him and she really doesn't want to do that maybe is it because she's mad at carry with a C and there's some kind of like she's ordering him around where usually he has more control. So some one of those possibly a third option and yeah she is still very much upset with him and I like this you know Clark is like so what's the deal with you two I feel like there's a bit of tension in the air you're their prisoner what the dude and then Carrie with a C is actually like well you know I am trying to talk, but she just doesn't really listen. You know, it's just like Carrie with a C. I appreciate the effort on like the communication front. I don't think this is the the time or the place for the for you know the, the, the Clark kidnapped. David and tried, you know, and and was willing to have him killed. He just wanted to make sure. He just wanted to see. He was he was a little curious first, you know. But yeah, dangerous guy. Not not someone for them to just, yeah. And yeah, we see Melanie and Oliver talk and you know she invites him out to to dinner and he can't quite remember her which uh, of course really really hurts and then near the end of the episode he does find, oh Melanie and you know now they're gonna be apart based on the end of this this episode this finale this season so that's really you know we were yeah I wasn't really expecting I don't think I wasn't expecting a happy ending, or at the very least not this early on, but that's still really twisting the blade. <laughs> and I like yeah, so so Melody's sound I'm sorry, 
If you're not, you will be. <laughs> it's got a, got a, got a, a bit of a Benry energy going. Not quite as intense, but but fun uh, nevertheless. And you know, he's like, ah, there's like fifty of you. Yeah, we have the entire U.S. military and a coalition of countries. And she's just like, the dinosaurs once ruled the world, and and he's like, so you're threatening the entire world? Is that it? And <laughs> war is over. <laughs> I mean, there's so much, there's so much to love there. Um, love the Beatles reference. Love the optimism. You know, like again, this is this is one of the. You know, he's extremely dangerous to them. Not like personally, but you know, he yeah. He's he has a very significant job in this, you know, yeah, group of people who, who are trying to, to kill the mutants, so, yeah, and, and he's just, like, you know, war is over, all, you know, eight days a week, you know, she loves you, yeah, 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 and, yeah, I, I quite like the, you know, you don't have to be afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. You don't have to be afraid. I, I know. You don't have to. And, and Clark is like, okay, stop. Please, stop. Say anything else. Please. And, yeah, and there's the thing about, you know, the, the let's see, yeah. Why can't you just leave us be to do what? I don't know, make babies? Well, uh, you know, your babies and our babies might have it out in the, the sandbox. And then David says, isn't that the history of the world? People from all over the world learning to coexist. I, again, just beautiful, just, yeah, I, I really appreciate I, Again, the show manages to really balance this, this like, real heart with snark. Let's see. And yeah, um, Lenny was under the covers in the bed, on the in the white room, and looking very intense, very very messed, pretty messed up. And the, yeah, she she may she says. You like a bit of backdoor action, don't you? Wow. Just, yeah. Lenny's not the only character to reference sex on the show, but I feel like every time she does, it's really, like, crass in a way that it isn't... With it. Like, there's other characters who can talk about sex in a way that isn't so so crass. You know, it's, I I don't think that the show is saying you know if you have if you're crass about how you talk about sex, I guess you're evil. It's just you know a lot of bad guys in fiction like to be crass and harsh in in various ways. And she steps onto the the pristine floor, and just the this gloopy, gloppy, disgusting. Just, yeah. Ugh. It's like she's stepping out of tar or something. Very effective, and and yeah, the, the, Sid talks about you know tumor and and you know says they burn the bag, and yeah, ultimately you know Lenny says the yeah there's ever made soup and goes through. Have you ever tried to unmake soup? Which, like, I mean, that is a really good metaphor. Because, yeah. <laughs> the yellow-eyed demon has been in David since David was a baby. How do you remove something from, you know, once they're an adult without, yeah, doing, like... 
yeah, but like potentially killing the the adult. So it's very very nicely done. It's a uh, yeah, and it's it's a quite good like dilemma. You know this thing of and and I quite appreciate there was a little a chunk of the this, this episode where I wasn't quite sure if Sid was trying to you know ba basically going to try to do what Lenny wanted or if she was pretending to go along so that Lenny you know would think that Lenny had the upper hand. So, yeah, that was also very nicely done. And, yeah, uh, very clever with the... So, the thing that... Carry with a C has set up so there's a magnetic field to remove Farouk from David without hurting any of the parts that are David. Just... Yeah, I mean, there's a certain, there's logic in what he says. And very cool, you know, we see David seeing all these memories being fast-forwarded and Yellow-Eyed Demon being cut out. Great visual, you know, this show does visualization so well. The power is at 69%. I honestly, I was a little surprised that Oliver didn't, you know, the power says 69%. Nice. And, yeah, we have that thing about, you know, if, um, what was it Lenny said? Something like, the only way you'll get rid of me is if I leave on my own. And you have the those really nasty, gnarly fingers, like, covering David's face from behind in a very creepy Guess Who gag. And... Uh, let's see... Right, right, the... I really loved when when David turned to, to face Lenny, and Lenny's like, why why can't I move? What is what is going on? Just got this like deer in headlights look going. So, kid, when I said that I was never ever gonna let you go, that that um, I would always have complete power over you. Obviously, I I can understand why you took that the wrong way. What I meant was <laughs> that was yeah fantastic, and you know. They've got, like, Aubrey Plaza looking like a, a corpse. I wonder how many latent necrophiliacs found an awakening there. And... Yeah, and, the you know, he compares it to, like, a phantom limb. And, yeah, um, the moment that the, the military guys become aware, you know, that they see... So... Did they recognize the yellow eyed devil, or was that a, or or is it just the fact that they realize there's something more? Because Clark seems more open to working with, but then of course that could also be that he realized that a psychic fight just took place, and that the the winner is willing to to protect him. But, but yeah, the military guys say, send the equinox. Again, very, very threatening and... Sid kisses David, which is very clever because, yeah. The, you know, one of the big problems was the, the fact that as long as the 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 yellow-eyed devil was inside David, you know, the, the like obviously Carrie with a C and Oliver are doing what they can to to safely remove the devil with the yellow eyes, but you know it's once the devil with the yellow eyes has left David's body and is in Sid's because the devil with the yellow eyes 
is aware, you know, we're not going to get to keep David. You know, had a long, had a nice run, but this might be it. Yeah, the devil with the yellow eyes, you know, very happy to to use Sid as a passenger, and very nicely done. I mean, it's it's really just it's like I guess it's either CG or it's like colored contact lenses, but very very convincing with the the yellow eyes. And then Sid touches, and and also a great creepy moment of like slowly pulling you know, slow mo pulling off the the gloves, and then taking over. You know, it's, yeah, Carrie with a C is going to try to like use a use a syringe to um, what's the word um, render unconscious Sid. And Carrie with a K, you know, is gonna try to protect him, so she's distracted for long enough that Sid, with the, yeah, Sid Devil with the yellow eyes can take over Carrie with a K. And let's see, yeah, uh, very cool when David and Carrie with a K. Go up against each other, and we have the force fields, and they they hit each other, and there's an expulsion, and Oliver is taken over, and then we have the thing, you know, he he like sings, "If I ruled the world," very very creepy, and that's yeah, you know, up to this point in the show, he has been stuck inside David. He hasn't really had a chance to, you know, so. Yeah, this is, it's good for David, obviously, we're happy for him, but this is actually extremely dangerous for, for everybody else, so that's a really great setup for, for Season 2. You know, I, I think it would have been very frustrating, like, imagine if the episode cut right bef if if the last thing we saw of this season was Carrie with a K and David going right up against each other, and then it cuts, and it's like, whew, you know, just wait and see. This is much more interesting to actually say no. You know, Yellow Eyed Devil appears to be completely out of David, but now Oliver is. Yeah. And. <laughs> yeah, and the thing, you know. Um, remember when you told me I don't have to be afraid? Yeah, that was, that was my mistake. Love a good, you know, little moment of snark following up on such a dramatic, you know, conclusion. And, yeah, you know, Clark agrees, you know, I'll, I'll talk to them. And finally, Carrie with a K agrees to, to hug Carrie with a C again. All it took was a severe threat to both their lives. Another one. And it was at this point that I realized that technically Sid kissed David better. <laughs> she kissed him and made it better. Wow. And let's see. Right, also I quite appreciate it earlier in the episode when, you know, Petonomy is all like, let's you know, we gotta take out Clark. And Melanie's 100% behind that. And and Sid, you know, she goes on to explain that that isn't going to work. We can't just keep, you know, it's a, it's a zero-sum game if we're just constantly trying to take each other out. But before that, she says, grow up. <laughs> Which I just, I kind of love that. I think I will use that the next time I encounter someone who says the only way for us to be safe is for for this individual or this group to just die grow up <laughs> because it is it's such an immature way of looking at things that's not you can't you can't just you know destroy everything that you think you know works against you you have to find a way to, to live in harmony with you know yeah at one point Clark said you know we, you know, this is the entire, was it the entire, at, at least a chunk of the American military, and they, they're working with a bunch of other countries, you know, you can't take them all out. And, yeah, before the, the end credits start rolling, we see 
Oliver in the car, and then we have this gorgeous reveal. Like, I, I love the way this show is filmed. The camera, you know, first we just see Oliver, and then it goes all the way across, and finally we see Lenny there. And she's got her bare feet up on the dashboard, so I'm guessing Quentin Tarantino guest directed the scene. And, yeah, just, you know, there, there's a, let's see, there's a line about, you know, wh where should we go? South, or so, something like that. And the post credit scene has David be, like, sucked up into a drone, which, like, okay, that's, <laughs> I, yeah, that's, that's an interesting, I mean, at this point, it, it, it does kind of feel like anything could happen on this show. So, IMDb Trivia for this episode... The Wilhelm scream can be heard when one of the Division Three soldiers is moved by David's power. About seven minutes into the episode, yeah. When asked where to go, Lenny slash Farouk says south. In the comics, Charles Xavier first encountered Farouk as the crime lord of Cairo, Egypt. And let's see. Um. That is about... Yeah. Um, so, since this is the end of this season, and I'm doing all of these shows in the order in which they first aired, it will be a little while before I continue... Uh, starting tomorrow, it's going to be season one of The Gifted. That's 13 episodes, and there's 8 episodes of Inhumans, 22 episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the entire fifth season. Then I go back to Legion. So, yeah. Um, if, if you're primarily interested in hearing me talk Legion, I'm afraid it will be... A little while. I'm gonna try to do an episode per day. So, you know, what is that? A month and a half or so. Um, yeah, I'm really gonna miss this show. This is, yeah, I I seriously respect what they've been able to do with this show so far, and I can hardly wait to see where it goes next.